Hello, I'm back with the second part of the reading for the remainder of March. Forgive me for not being consistent. Life comes at you fast and I'm just rolling with with everything as best I can, like everybody else. So here's the reading for you. Hope you enjoy it. Um, I've already filmed what to look out for. This is going to be what to look forward to. So kind of more positive energy to keep you encouraged and optimistic for what's to come um throughout the end of the month leading into april <clears throat> excuse me so let's go ahead and get into this reading first card to come out um uh, was the hangman or the hang one in this deck which i think is great it's about releasing letting go sacrificing but this gives me a sense of freedom and then the other reading, the full card came out and I felt a sense of freedom with that too. So it may be hard to come to this um, energy, but once you do, you do get a sense of freedom and then you rely on your intuition to guide you. You could be taking this time to be productive in other ways of your life or doing other things that you've put off for a long time or that you've always wanted to do, but just never had the time or energy to do it. You could be taking this time to be very creative with the magician here. You could be acting and exploring um, on different ideas that you've had. Um, you could be brainstorming different ideas. Some of you could be inventing things or just becoming very, very, very creative and just using all of the tools that you have access to now that you have the downtime. And then it's like once the moment is right, you'll know what to do with everything you've been guided to create. And we're going to elaborate and clarify each of these cards too. <clears throat> also something to look forward to this gave me a tyrannical energy so if somebody's been like very controlling misusing their power or having a very bad attitude this could also be abuse i feel like this is coming to an end with the tower at the the tower reverse coming out right after that a truth is coming to light when it comes to this a light light is being shined on this behavior you could be somebody whoever resonating with this king of wands energy in reverse um and the tower of reverse it's like you you can't control this thing coming out it's like it, it's whatever this is it's like somebody wanted control or was being abusive or uh, what's the word i want to use here extremely irrational um selfish and um it gives me a greedy energy and it's like the more i'm explaining or elaborating it feels like i'm describing a pentacles card not wands this is yeah this is like an abuse of power it's just someone not able to express their feelings in a mature way um it feels very tantrum-esque it's like the 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 ascended or advanced energy of that page of wands reverse that came up in the other reading so it's like it's all coming to a head and it's like you may not want to face the facts here but a truth is coming to light everything is coming to the surface it's like it's a boiling point and it's something to look forward to because now all of the pieces lie in front of you and you can truly mourn what was lost <coughs> excuse me it, this feels like closure like a truth coming to light and someone finally get, finally gaining some type of closure this could be for people who have been dealing with abusive situations or very unpleasant situations that could be all coming to a boiling point and now people believe you now um, people understand you people get it um, it may not be coming out in a very tactful way or it could be coming out very abruptly or um, unexpected however it allows some some closure this this really feels like closure like a deep sigh of like release like <sighs> finally that's over that's what this five of cups feels like to me so real quick we have Neptune energy which rules Pisces we have the magician which is Mercury energy. Mercury rules Virgo and Gemini. <coughs> Excuse me. King of Wands reverse, 
which would be Sagittarius if I'm not mistaken. Could also be Aries or Leo, being that it's a fire sign. The Tower card is going to be Mars energy, which rules Aries and Scorpio. The Knight of Swords. I don't know exactly. I want to say it's Gemini. It could also be Aquarius or um, Libra because it's air. This is Scorpio energy with the Five of Cups. So let's go ahead and clarify these cards, shall we? Using the prism deck to clarify, starting with the hanged one. Let's just see if Spirit wants to elaborate. Anything else to learn Spirit for the hanged one? <clears throat> Oracle of Clouds, which is the Queen of Swords, perceptive. Yeah, I think your perception is different. It's changing. Um, being stuck in this confinement, being this does feel like being stuck but it feels like coming to a place of being okay with it like okay what can i do after you finish throwing a tantrum and realize there's nothing you can do about it your perspective is changing and maybe now that's what uh encourages you to become creative also before i move too far we have the death card in reverse at the bottom of the deck oh and looky looky just beneath that two of swords this card came up twice in the what to look out for a reading <coughs> So there is transformation taking place. There's a lot of change, but it's being resisted. Um, and I think once you come to a place of not resisting it anymore, um, your perception changes. Um, you can see things differently. Anything else for the hang on? <clears throat> Apprentice of Lightning Adventure. This is the Knight of Wands. So I think, yeah, you begin to take action. Your perception changes. You begin to take action on the things that you're passionate about and um, that drive you and spark your interest. Um, these could be your talents. These could be other skills. Um, these could be artistic um, activities, things of that nature. Show me the magician. I definitely feel like people are being creative more so than ever before. Master of Clouds, okay, so we got the King of Swords. So I think you advance pretty quickly with intellect here. The Swords is also about the mental space, decision making. Um, I think you, you begin to see things in a logical way or you begin to make logical decisions and take logical action here. Also with the way you choose to go about your creativity. And I think that allows you to advance very quickly going from the queen to the king. Um, so it's like you have this internal moment where you kind of get everything in order. You you get this moment of acceptance and you wait for your intuition to guide you and lead you. You use that to help you make logical decisions towards taking action um, in your creative arts, right? And then before you know it, your judgment and your strategy is just on fire. And I think that allows you to manifest very quickly because the magician is also a card of manifestation. Anything else for the magician? <clears throat> two of lightning, which is the two of wands planning. Yeah, I think when it comes to planning and yeah, like your future, you're a lot smarter. You're a lot more intellectual. You're a lot more prepared um, and you're a lot more creative when it comes to um, making decisions and strategizing and using judgment in your everyday life. I love this. This is really good. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm getting all tongue tied. Show me the King of Wands reverse. What's up with the King of Wands reverse? I don't like the energy associated with this card. <coughs> Emotional secure maturity, um, the master of raindrops, which is the king of cups. Um, yeah, I definitely feel like this is someone lacking emotional maturity. Someone's beginning to learn that. I think the the lack of this emotional maturity is being there's a light being shined on this. Um, I think someone's not okay with their emotions they're very aware of their emotions and, and it's like they're sure of their emotions it's like being comfortable with your emotions but 
you don't want people to know people you are comfortable with your emotions i don't know this is something that's like having a secret not wanting people to know how I, I don't know maybe this is just to show the degree of advanced um how advanced this energy of the king of wands is with them with the king of cups showing showing up here this could also be a clash between someone's own masculine energy like how do i describe this give me another card spirit tell me out here for the king of wands reverse <coughs> intuition high priestess it's like someone it's like they know better and they could just be putting an end to this energy on their own this king of wands reverse energy with the tower reversed that could be what it is like they just kind of give up but that's not quite feeling accurate um the king the high priestess can also be about secrets so i definitely feel like there's an element of secrets being revealed or coming out i feel like there's more about this mass of raindrops that's not being revealed the king of cups here show me more about the king of cups master of raindrops the magician Whoever resonates with this creative energy and manifesting energy, that could be you, this ma this emotional maturity. Maybe you're developing some type of emotional maturity. Again, this is Virgo or Gemini. Representing Mercury. I mean, the Mercury, yeah, which rules Virgo or Gemini. I feel like there's still an element that is not quite connecting yet here, but... I'm going to go ahead and move on. And the dots may connect soon. Show me the tower, tower reverse. It's going to make sense soon. Rebirth. Yeah, there's a new opportunity here. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I feel like this, this tower definitely is a good thing. It's, it's obviously a rebirth taking place. It couldn't be more clear, right? I think this person, like, deep down inside is very sensitive. And it, it's coming out in a very aggressive way. But for whatever reason, this it's like, it's like they get tired of it and they just decide to soften up and to be kind be sweet be loving show me more about the tower reversed or maybe it's just revealed how sweet they they really are i don't know it feels like somebody's like covers being blown or something three of raindrops community three of cups a lot of emotional energy in this reading cancer energy Yeah, I just feel like, I feel like somebody's having an emotional breakdown. Yeah, that's kind of what this feels like. Somebody's having an emotional breakdown, and with it, their intuition is really high. <laughs> it's like, this is what you have to look forward to, an emotional breakdown. It feels like purging, though. It doesn't feel like, um, like losing your mind. It feels like purging. It feels like a healthy release. And I think that's why you have it to look forward to. I think it's going to clear a lot of space. And um, it's going to allow a lot of creativity to come in. I think this energy at the beginning of the reading is actually the aftermath of allowing this purging to take place. So I think that's why you can look forward to this. Because I'm like, ooh. This looks like a lot of crying. It's like, it does look like a lot of crying. Feels like a lot of crying. <clears throat> a lot of emotional purging. 
which is good. Release. All right, show me the Knight of Swords, please. two cards the fool and the ten of pentacles or ten of gems in this deck take a leap in legacy I think someone is speaking their truth for the first time or being honest about how they feel and it could be very abrupt um, but it's like it has something to do with with just kind of like risking it all and it doesn't seem like that it's that uh major of a risk it just feels like it's that big of a risk um someone's like i have to do this for my family whatever this is you have to do something for your family for 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 your reputation it could be a family secret being revealed Emotional stability and generosity. <clears throat> Nine of raindrops and six of gems. Nine of cups, six of pentacles. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think this is just representing healing. I think this is representing like new opportunities from this truth being revealed. There's a new opportunity to come that is going to bring a lot of fulfillment and long-term growth and stability. Um, probably in the, in the, uh, in the emotional space. Cause then we have emotional stability and generosity. And I feel like this is going to flow, um, more frequently, um, smoothly. That's cause like this, like I said, it feels like a big sigh of relief. I feel like this, this one big burst of energy allows this. <sighs> moment of stability it's like you release all this stuff that has been suppressed it could be that you've been abused and you haven't quite purged um or done any shadow work regarding your trauma and you finally do that and you get this brand new opportunity it's like you take the opportunity, you take the leap of faith to release this and it benefits you so, um, in such a way that's so, so valuable to you for such a long term time. I don't know why it's so hard to say words right now, <laughs> but yeah, it brings in a lot of emotional stability and balance. And it allows emotional generosity or just generosity and, and abundance to flow in and out of your life. I love it. Really good stuff. Show me the five of cups. Okay. Rejuvenation. Healing. Like I said, the star card. It gives you hope. It gives you reassurance. It gives you peace of mind. Replenishment. That's what this feels like. I love this. This is really, really good. Um, it allows you to push yourself first with the Oracle of Gems, the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, practicality. Um, definitely allows you to be practical, uh, prioritize your to-do list and also prioritizing your self-care. It's like you won't ever let yourself get to this point ever again because now you know better. Advice for the collective based on this reading. the full card again the full card has come out three times between the two of the readings that i've just done and the page of swords again i believe these two cards came out together in the last reading so i love it definitely watch both readings we have the full card and the page of swords so take a leap of faith take a chance do something you've never done before try something you've never done before do it in a way you've never done before but also be smart be practical pay attention to the things that are around you your surroundings ask questions be curious um 
be creative but also be willing to learn and take in new information this does feel very much like unlearning a lot of unlearning is taking place um but it's like doing it in a humble way not feeling threatened or inferior or um like you lack being in a place where you are taking in new information so that you can make decisions in a different way there's a lot of newness a lot of new opportunities a lot of new beginnings taking place but you're learning a lot it's like you're coming in with a clean slate and there's a lot to be learning so do come in with a clean slate come in come in with an empty cup so to speak um but pay attention to everything around you anything else for the collective as far as advice the tower reversed again some of you are really having a hard time of just letting things happen <clears throat> in the wheel of fortune i believe it came up in the upright but it flipped over in the reverse this is my divine timing card um some of you may be beating yourselves up feeling like oh it's all your fault don't spend your time victimizing yourself that's not going to be productive for you it's going to delay progress oh hell what else yeah it's a good thing it's a good thing the will of fortune is about luck it's about fate it's about destiny um so it's meant to happen and it may look like a shit storm right now but it's all a part of the plan um and it's maybe not something that you're meant to understand right now maybe not having all of the answers is a good thing and maybe you should just kind of embrace that and just seek opportunities to learn that's kind of what this feels like being a little bit of an adventurer being smart um but also not not carrying too much baggage emotional baggage mental baggage just kind of coming in empty and just let's just see what happens you know what i'm saying taking it day by day um i, I don't want to leave the reading like this any other messages of advice for the collective we have a sun card but it came out in the reverse um this represents like being mildly disappointed it's not a bad card in the reverse um it can also just be like feeling gloomy or feeling kind of down or sad um we could also just be kind of being pe pessimistic so just look around you and embrace everything that there is to be happy about um you may notice all of the growth is taking place and that may lift your spirits but pay attention to everything that's around you there are opportunities for growth and happiness all around you i hope this was helpful i really like this reading and the last one i really really hope that it provides some clarity and some guidance to those who need it during this crazy chaotic time so again i am available for personal readings should you desire one the information will be below also i'm trying my best to do daily readings on instagram so follow me there for that and um i think i hit everything be creative, be kind to yourselves, be patient with yourselves. Excuse me. I don't know why this is happening. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Peace, love, and light. Bye.